welcome back to a brand new video. I hope this lighting is okay for you. I'm filming this about four o'clock in the afternoon and it is so dark outside. I've been so busy this morning and I'm like, I need to, I want to film a video today. And I've now had a chance at four o'clock. My hair is now crazy frizzy. So excuse the state of me. Excuse if the lighting isn't great. I'm using my, um, sad light that um helps me feel better when it is so dark and gloomy all the time now winter is fully set in um so i'm hoping this light is going to be enough for you um so yeah apologies if it is not but anyway this video i kind of wanted to do a follow-on from a video i did in the car with sammy the other day i will leave a link to that one down below we talked about all things crystals because um someone commented wanting us to just sit there and talk about it because we really enjoy sitting there talking in the car about random things and whatnot and you guys seem to like it so um yeah I just kind of wanted to talk more about crystals really on how they've kind of helped me over the last year or so and kind of show you some of my favorites as well and kind of where I got them in case anyone is interested and I know some things that I've shown, I might have shown already on this channel or I might have been in some of Sammy's daily vlogs. So our videos kind of do cross over sometimes because um, we enjoy filming together. So apologies if you've seen a couple of things more than once. But for anyone who hasn't, I will also um, show them again. But yeah, so for me, I have always been into kind of crystals ever since I was younger. I must have seven or eight maybe and yeah I used to whenever we were on holiday in the UK or anything growing up there was um I always had to find a crystal shop and I have a few crystals around my room that I've kind of put them in certain places so I kind of didn't want to move them because I've kind of set their intention and I like the placement of them and sometimes I kind of find it weird if I suddenly just pick it up um because I don't want to like balance out its energy from where it's been helping me but um yeah I've had some since I was probably seven or eight in my room and I kind of I wouldn't say I grew out of it but I kind of think I pushed the spiritual side and the crystal energy and everything to my back of my mind growing up and it's only over the last year with the pandemic and everything else that I fully kind of found myself more as a person spiritually and got more into um, crystal healing, crystal energy more than I ever have before and I absolutely love it. Obviously it's not for everybody, obviously you can choose whether to believe it or not, that's 100% um, each to their own, there's no judgement here but um, just for me personally I I'm very into crystal healing and spirituality and spiritualness and yeah that is just part of me and my personality and who I am but um crystal wise I've always been there's always been certain crystals that I have always been drawn to one of them being I have a few next to me one of them being rose quartz now rose quartz is very good for love and self-love and I think getting into um let's show you this in a better detail so this is a rose quartz tower this I picked up from Etsy and yeah rose quartz has always been one I've been really into and I think growing up obviously I mentioned in videos before I have battled with um, my own personal demons of body dysmorphia and things like that and yeah rose quartz is great for self-love so I've always had um, rose quartz in my room and at the time growing up not really fully knowing its power but now I know it's it is literally one of my favorites and this was one of the first crystals that I picked up kind of over the last year or so probably yeah probably the start of 2020 really um I picked this one up and it's one of my absolute favorites obviously you can get different forms of crystals you can get crystal points you can get raw ones you can get tumbles you can get crystal chips there is such a variety but um rose quartz is always my number one also that it's pink and pink is my favorite color but for the healing and energy i always use um rose quartz for self-love 
I'm hoping this video is going to be alright for you guys. Do let me know down below if this is actually interesting for you. And then another one that I have always been drawn to is Amethyst. This is a raw piece of Amethyst. I just love the shine in it. This one isn't as purple as most Amethyst is, but it is just so pretty and yeah amethyst i just kind of feel like it's a bit of an all-rounder it is a bit of one that is calming and clear-headedness and yeah that's kind of like that's kind of like the main ones i think with um amethyst so yeah 100 percent. those are kind of two that main ones that i would 100 percent from what me and sammy were mentioning in our previous video of they're definitely ones the basic go-to's definitely ones that you should have even if you're not massively spiritual or into crystal healing and things like that I just think those two are ones that apart from they're very pretty uh ones that you should kind of have around your space or around you in some way as well as clear quartz clear quartz this is another one this is just a Clear Quartz Sphere, I just love it. It almost looks good enough to eat. I always find that with some crystals and tumbles that you just kind of want to eat them because they look like sweets. It's very tempting. Um, obviously, I won't be doing that. But um, yeah, Clear Quartz is a good all-rounder. I really want to get like a Clear Quartz Tower like this one, but I've not yet found one that I'm drawn to. And I always find that with um, crystals. If I'm not into a certain crystal, I won't buy it or feel like I need it it's always kind of like a thing of if I'm really drawn to it and I think I really need this in my life somehow with the meaning and understanding of what it is um I will then um purchase it but yes clear quartz is just a great all-rounder for everything as well as to go inside with that is smoky quartz this again is a little smoky quartz tower and I just oh, I just love it again you just kind of want to eat it I don't know what it is <laughs> let me know down below if anyone else is like that it just looks good enough to eat um this again smoky quartz is another one to just have all around it kind of is grounding it's calming it's a stress reliever it's kind of boosts up your energy with other crystals yeah I can't the thing is I can't fully um say all the meanings and everything because I don't know them off the top of my head a lot of the time I do use google so just type into google smoky quartz crystal meaning or properties and you tend to get all the information on there and obviously I do have a couple of crystal books like they're called them like the crystal bibles um and it just has so many um different varieties of crystals and their properties and meanings and things like that and it's all really interesting you can get them off amazon i picked up um well one of them my auntie kind of gifted to me and the second one which is like the crystal bible too there's so many um that one i actually picked up in tk maxx so definitely check out tk maxx for their little book section on if they have any crystals they crystal books they tend to kind of have them every so often but yeah smoky quartz is another favorite of mine um let's have a look another favorite of mine i also like to wear crystals i like to wear them as jewelry to kind of have them around me i've not got one on today but i've got on my hands a hand today um yeah if i'm drawn to wearing a certain one on a certain day then I obviously need that energy and that help somehow for whatever mood that I'm in but my all-time I don't know why but my all-time favorite crystal is strawberry quartz I ordered this off someone off Instagram and paid for it to be wire wrapped and then it came with the silver chain um but yeah there's just something about strawberry quartz to me that I am really drawn to and I can't think off the top of my head exactly all of the properties of it so apologies for that but um yeah if anyone asks me what is my favorite crystal it is strawberry quartz and then there are things like satin spa some people call it selenite but this kind of thing is satin spa 
and this is a good one to have I use this this is a charging plate so um, you pop on if you feel crystals feel heavy or they need energizing again all of this information I did mention with Sammy in her video so it will be linked below but this is a satin spa charging plate and just pop your crystals on sort of ask set your intentions for them of what kind of thing you want them to help with I leave them like 24 hours and yeah it just then charges your crystals with your set intentions that you um kind of feel like you want or need um another one another favorite of mine is rhodonite this is a rhodonite heart so this is just like a giant kind of like tumble in sort of a heart shape again i picked this up from etsy um rhodonite is Rhodonite is a good one to have. Rhodonite is in between sort of rose quartz for self-love and carnelian for self-confidence. Rhodonite is in between the two. It's kind of a mix of the two in energies really. So if I'm feeling a bit low on myself, I need a bit of a confidence boost, I sometimes will just sit and hold this one in my hand because it's almost like a palm stone. So it's very easy to just kind of sit and just think and like, right, today's gonna be a good day. Um, please help me with the energy etc etc each to their own on how their process of crystals and if you do this and if you don't that's entirely up to you but I do recommend um, rhodonite in, to have in your space or carry it with you I mean it might not be drawn to you you might not be drawn to it you might be drawn more to carnelian or rose quartz and if you are then that is perfectly fine I'm not saying that you must buy certain ones that I'm showing you here but um, these are just ones that I found on my crystal journey that I am very much drawn to and grateful for. Other ways that you can have them, this is a selenite, still has it on the bottom, tower, look how big it is, this thing is so heavy, I picked this up recently in TK Maxx for a crazy price of £10, like I am actually shocked that I even stumbled across this. Um, again, this was, you would have seen me pick this up in one of Sammy's videos. Um, this is just crazy to me that I found this and picked it up. And look at it, look at this. Again, it has the same kind of thing as the Satin Spa charging plate. It's just like an all rounder and I have it um, on kind of like, I've got like a sideboard thing here and my bed is opposite. So I have this kind of, sitting there so when I wake up in the morning I see it and I find it very calming and yeah part of it is kind of like rough because it's like it's been chipped out of somewhere and then part of it like the bottom of everything has been smoothed but do 100% check out TK Maxx because by fluke you could find something like this for a bargain of £10 if you got this um anywhere else in a crystal shop or anything like that so you're looking at £40-£50 plus so it was a amazing, amazing find. I can't even believe that I found it. And another one that I picked up in TK Maxx was this agate chunk. Like, so it's got the rough of the rock. It's got smooth sides here with like a druzy so you can see inside. I don't know if it's gonna, well you can kind of see. It's just a beautiful agate slice. And then the other side, is kind of sorry the lighting is kind of rough and raw like it's been shaved out again oh here we are this way around you can see inside here oh it's just stunning again this is so heavy and 10 pounds in TK Maxx guys 10 whole pounds so I found this one in one trip popping into TK Maxx to just kind of film content for you guys and then stumbled across it and this one like that is insane. These alone, anywhere else, would be worth £40, £50 pound plus if you bought them. So, 100% recommend TK Maxx for um, possible crystal finds like this that you can't always get everywhere. So yeah, as I mentioned before, I do like to wear um, crystal jewellery and I tend to wear them as pendants or in rings so I have a few I like to wear a few rings um, I have many fingers for many rings um, so this one is a new one that I picked up recently this kind of green one 
I can't remember the name of it without looking on my phone because I wrote it down. Um, this is a vintage find that I found in an antique shop recently. It's all handmade, sterling silver. Originally on the back of here, it's got um, handmade in Israel. And I've done some research on the crystal itself. And it is one that was originated, is originated and found in Israel, which I just think is amazing that our world has so many beautiful things like this that just kind of grow in the ground and whatnot and yeah and it's new and i love it i really really like it there was something in the window of the antique shop that i was just drawn to and yeah beautiful and then this is a ruby i picked this up Recently, there is a lady on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is Stargazy, and she does beautiful. I have a few here. This one here as well. This one is an opal. Look at the colour change in that. I can't even. It's not even showing it as glorious as it is in person. Um, yeah, I pick up sometimes if I'm drawn to it. She sells crystal jewellery they're all handmade she sources the crystals herself they're all handmade all sterling silver she does pendants bracelets earrings rings i love her um yeah do check her out i'll put her instagram handle down below if i remember to um yeah it's just stargazy and her jewellery is just i pretty much only ever wear her rings really her rings or sometimes pandora and then this one i picked up at a random little shop in my, one of my local towns. It is a tiny little garnet. Garnet isn't um, my birthstone. I'm born in, my birthday's in July, so end of July. So um, my birthstone is ruby. But for some reason, I find myself being really drawn to garnet, which is like the deeper red. Ruby is more of like a light, um, like a pinky red. And garnet, oh my God, I'm like, garnet is more of a, deep dark red and I find myself really drawn to it I have another piece of jewelry that is garnet I don't know why I am drawn to it there's reasons why you're drawn to certain crystals and they always say if you're um drawn to it then it must be kind of for you and if it's one that you'll kind of like want to like shy away from um then that's normally a crystal that you need in your life and one epic one that makes me nervous it makes me nervous about it is I'm gonna pick it up this is only a small piece is malachite this gorgeous green one this one with its little crystal energy even this big it scares me it is so powerful and strong it scares me in the way of it will shake things up for you um as you know again i keep saying in previous videos but videos with sammy because um She's also very spiritual like me and we've mentioned this in one of her videos of um, spiritual awakenings, um, not spiritual awakenings, sorry, Saturn return and in there we mentioned that I'm currently in Saturn return, of my Saturn return for the next three years so things are being shaken up all over the place. Um, malachite is one that will shake things up for you. I remember I don't wear this very often because I use the energy sometimes, I take it with me if um, something's going on or whatever, I kind of take this with me because it does shake things up and it kind of helps you shift things from your life that you kind of didn't feel like you wanted to get rid of but it's like, hello, I'm telling you, this is going for a reason. Um, so that's happened with a few different um, situations, I'm not going to go into them because it is personal but yeah I don't wear it very often I wore it for like a day and then in that day a few kind of things happened and now I'm like they happened for a good reason but at the time I'm like oh my god this is happening this is happening and it was because I was wearing this call me like coincidence it could be but I don't fully believe in coincidences but yeah if you're needing a bit of a shift change in energy or um you're unsure if you need to get rid of a situation or a scenario or something malachite will help you um so glad i only have a small piece 
but yes it is a strong energy stone and then finally I'm gonna end with the organite this is there's just dust everywhere oh my goodness that's embarrassing um this is what Sammy was talking about in the video I'm sorry that I keep referring back to it but this one I kind of wanted to do in conjunction with that one because um I wanted to show you some of my crystals and my crystal journey and everything like that so um yeah this is my organite again it was mentioned on what this is on there I always forget I always forget that it's even called an organite my brain doesn't always remember the names of crystals um but this one is all green aventurine and when I bought this there were many different ones there was ones like Sammy has of the different colors with the chakras um and I was just drawn to this one I was drawn to the green aventurine and it's got the copper in here and I am just obsessed with it so I think I'm going to end this video here guys because um this is like a long ramble of you just looking at my face and me showing you a tiny bit into my personal journey with crystals and some of my crystals I do have a lot more but I would be here all day if I showed you everything um I hope you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you liked it come comment below if you have any crystals or you're looking to get into crystals or if you have any questions on anything pop them down below for me because I do love talking and interacting with you guys and I will list below the video that me and Sammy did with the talking about crystals on her channel because she knows a bit more than me on the meanings and everything like that so I will leave that down below as long as along with I can't get my words out now along with um Stargazy's Instagram name and um there was something else that I was going to pop down there and it's gone from my brain see that's the thing it is gone from my brain but I will leave something else linked down below that I was going to say that I was going to link down below um so <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this enjoyable. I feel like I'm now repeating myself. So I'm going to stop talking. Have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.